family in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's the preacher and we're here broadcasting or recording from the gym. And so we're in continuation for this week's Torah portion. We're doing Torah nuggets as, as, as you know from, or if you don't know, go check it out on the page uh, or the channel. And we've been doing Torah portion, Tehuma, which means contributions, donations, offerings, heave offerings, uh, contribution towards the building of God's temple and or God's tabernacle dwelling place we've talked about a cheerful heart we've talked about we are the temple of God uh, that we house the holy of holies which is on our heart uh, the mercy seat is uh, where God sits and that should be on the throne of our hearts so if you haven't if you haven't seen any of the other videos please go back and familiarize yourself with those videos and what we're talking about so we you know we teach we teach from a multicultural perspective there's i've already uploaded another video speaking of of uh the great lent and the week that we're we're in there from a ethiopian christian perspective and so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to mix any of those things, but I was just advertising those videos so you can go back and and you can you can have a ton of fun going through all the lives. Uh, the you know this weekend we'll have a live as well. We'll have a live service. We'll do a what is a, a Shabbat gathering, a fellowship. So we'll teach from the Lord's table, and then we'll have full on worship service. Uh, I mean, I like to call it like a Jewish revival service. Um, you know, we obviously teach from that perspective, but we, we definitely multicultural. And so, like I said, this, this week's Torah portion is Tehuma, contributions, offerings. Chapter 25 of the book of Exodus, verse 1, running all the way through 2719. There is what's called the Haftarah, which is the, the, um, the prophet's reading. And just so that I can get that for you. It is Kings, 1 Kings 5, 26 through 613. Now, your Bibles are not going to read that way. Um, that's in the Hebrew. Uh, I think chapter 5 is like 13, 14 verses. But read all the way through into chapter 6, and you'll read that Solomon, if you just start at, at chapter 5, verse 1. Solomon is building the temple, uh, the house of God, and he's getting all the the um, the material ready for the building of the temple and one of the kings uh, helps him with that the the cedar from Lebanon and the fir uh, all the wood that's going to be and then the foundations the stones that are laid down for <clears throat> for the temple amen and then I believe just look this up really quick I'll, you know it'll come up on the screen here and that and then the gospel readings they put uh, mark 12 35 through 44 but i you know it talks about you know david and 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 that there will always be a well we can go there really quick so i don't i don't mess it up <laughs> and you'll be like what is he talking about 12, 35, and the son of David, Lord, and Jesus answered and said, while he was in the temple, he saw that the scribes, that he said to the scribes that Christ is the son of David, a question, and David himself said, by the Holy Spirit, you know that David was a prophet, the Bible says that he was a prophet, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit on the right hand sit at my right hand till I make thine enemies a footstool. David therefore himself called him Lord. Hence is he his son and the common people heard him gladly and he said unto them in his doctrine, beware of scribes who love to go with long clothing and salutations 
in the market. And then he continues to, to speak there. But, you know, David saw the Lord. Amen. And so <clears throat> there's a connection there with First Kings uh, as Solomon is chosen to build the temple. David could not build the temple because he was he, he was a man of war and there was war around him. Nothing was at peace. But then it, it literally in that in that haftarah in that prophet's reading or the king's reading, it's he make God makes everything submit to David. Basically he gives peace afterwards and he puts everyone under his foot, just as that scripture is 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 read there. And and Solomon, there's peace all around him. He's made all his enemies his footstool and now he's able to build the the temple and so there's various um there's various things that are talked about the ark of testimony which we were you know in last video we were talking about talking about the table and the furniture the 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 the, the shoe bread which we came to towards the end of the last video talking about the 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 bread of presence which reminds us of jesus he's the living bread he's He's always ever present before the Lord that sits at the right hand of God. He's the living bread. Amen. But as promised, I, I said I wanted to talk about the light. I wanted to talk about the menorah. I wanted to talk about the candlestick. And for me, you know, this is a very, a very great part of the teaching. It's a, it's because of who we are excuse me a second because of who we are in the lord we you know we are to call we are called to be a light to this generation so i want to talk about i want to talk about the light i want to talk about the i don't want to say the moving parts of the of the of, of the of, of the menorah because Really, the menorah is one piece, and you're talking to you're talking to a piece of, of 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 furniture that it's 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 five feet. You know, it's five feet, five feet three, five foot three, something like that. You know, you, you basically the size of a person that the the priests have to go up on a little step to go up and and light it and so it's interesting that that yeshua jesus says that we are the light of the world amen and so let's talk a little bit let's read a note from our brother here for hebrew for christians if you don't know that website uh, or that page i recommend it there's a lot of good teachings there there's a lot of good information and we're going to use some of that we're going to glean off of that in today's Torah nugget. One of the main components in the Mishkan, which we talked about in the last uh, video, Mishkan is a dwelling place, a tabernacle, the place where God wishes to dwell. Sanctuary is Mikdash, a holy place. That holy place is the temple. Amen. Ochel Moed, a tent of meeting. Amen. And God wants to meet us in our heart. Hallelujah. So, one of the main components in the Mishkan or the IE temple was the menorah, which is the, the candle, the candlestick, a beautiful design lamp stand that illuminated the holy place. All of all its intricate parts, the seven branches with the seven lamps, the nine flower blooms, the 11 fruits, the 12, the, sorry, the 22 cups were formed from a single piece of pure gold. So it's not different parts being welded together. It was a piece of, one piece of gold, amen? And he created, or they created this single piece of, of, of furniture. It was beaten or hammered into shape, which is 2536. And so let's, let's read here. Thou shalt, Thou shalt make, sorry, 36. I messed up, hallelujah. Which is in the section at, at, at 31, it begins the K 
candlestick and its instruments and said, so their knobs and their branches shall be of the same. All it shall be one beaten work of pure gold. Amen. And thou shalt make seven lampstands thereof, and thou shalt light the lamps thereof, that it may give light over against it. And we're going to talk about that over against it in a moment. The gold color is symbolic of the divine substance. Gold is a hint of color of blood combined with pure white. Six lamps of the menorah face the center lamp. So when it says over against it, they pointed towards the middle and it gave light out to the room. It was on the south side of the room. And, and this light, they all pointed all these other lights, all these branches, they pointed towards the middle, towards the center light of the menorah. And you're going to see tomorrow we'll, we'll, light, we'll light the Shabbat candles during, during our, our, what I like to say, the, the liturgy part of, of the service part. And the same thing here. The six lamps, they face towards the center called the shamash shamash is the servant or the standard candle so so called because it bore the flame from which the other flames were kindled so the center the center candle is the servant candle it's the shamash from where all the other candles get the light from amen just take note of that the seven lamps of the menorah were lit daily from evening until morning starting from the center lamp the shamash and moving to the right to the left and that's 27 21 in the tabernacle of the congregation without the veil in the holy place which is before the testimony Aaron and his sons shall order it from evening till morning before the Lord, and it shall be a statute forever in their generation and on behalf of the children of Israel. So the light is supposed to be lit always, forever. Amen? According to the Talmud, which is in Shabbat 22b, while all the lamps receive the same amount of oil, the westernmost lamp, which is according to Rashi, the center lamp, due to its uh, orientation, miraculously never, never ran out of oil. Even though it was kindled first in the sequence. When Aaron would rekindle the lamps every evening, he saw the, shama, the shamas, the standard candle, still burning. So he simply refilled it with oil and trimmed its wick. This miracle is also to have occurred during the temple period, though it abruptly ended about 40 years before the destruction of the second temple in 30 AD, after the death of Yeshua, the Messiah. Our rabbis taught during the last 40 years before the destruction of the temple, the lot for the Lord did not come up in the right hand, nor did the crimson colored strap become white, nor did the westmost, nor did the westmost light shine. And that's in Yom 39a. The scriptures declare that God is light and Yeshua is the true light of the world. Let's hit some scriptures really quick. And we're just setting the table so that I could, you know, preach. Hallelujah. First John 1, 5. Then this is the message which we have heard of him and declare to you that God is light. And in him is no dark, darkness at all. And if we continue reading, if you say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. We do not 
and do not the truth or have the truth. But if you walk in light or in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, it, his son cleanseth us from all sin. Oh, hallelujah. Walk in the light. This is, this is, this is what he was saying in the, in the book of John, that light has come in the world, but men hate the light. They stay because their deeds are not wrought in God. They're not brought in God. They're not done in God. Hallelujah. John 1 9 says, That was the true light which lighteth every man that come into the world. The light from the menorah reveals a spiritual light. It was not seen from the outside of the tabernacle, but only while inside the holy chamber, before the holy place of the sacrificial atonement. The light itself came from the pure burning or the burning of pure beaten olive oil, which is symbolic of the anointing and the Holy Spirit. It enabled service to God to be performed. That's how we can do the service of God is we have the anointing of God. We have the Holy Spirit that anoints us to be a light. Amen. Though it was not a light to be used for profane purposes. And that's what many people do. They, they, they misuse the light of God. They misuse the light of God. The light of the world whose arms and legs were hammered for our sins. He is the suffering servant, the Shamash, who, light, who lightens everyone in the world. And he is the center, the supporting trunk for the other branches. Amen. And so if we look at... Chapter 15, verse 5, it says, I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. It's interesting that we were reading about the, the menorah, and there's fruits and things on it. Flowers and the, the 11 fruits. Being a light brings forth fruit. It brings forth light into the world. Amen. Without me, you can do nothing. And then if, if you abide, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch. You're broken off. You're broken off. And, and it, like this piece of this piece of, of material or this this artifact was 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 made from one piece beaten and shaped and and we too we too are shaped like like clay the bible says i'm i'm clay in the in the potter's hand and shape me and mold me make me what you want me to be and god wants you to be a light he wants you to be in so many ways. He wants you to be a positive thing in the earth. He does not want you to be a negative thing in the earth. He wants you to be a positive thing in the earth. Amen? And men gather them and they cast them into the fire and they are burned. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you what ye will and it shall be done for you this is this you know this is why this is why people struggle with prayer be, they want to do things in darkness they don't want to come to the light they don't want to confess they don't want to go into adoration they don't want to go into into thankfulness and and then people get mad well you say well we i've been asking but they, but you haven't really you haven't really come to the light 
You haven't been abide. If his word abides in you, if his word is in you, I've hid your word in my heart that I would not sin against you. That's Bible. That's that's Bible. Those are instructions of God. The instructions of God, there are promises attached. It's a book of instructions, but it's a book of promises because attached to the to the instructions are promises. And his promises are yes and amen. They will they will they will they will they will come to fruition. Because God promises them. And, and he said, and if you abide in me, if you stay in me, whatever you ask, whatever you ask, I will do. Because they're truthful. They're for real. And they're in God. Hallelujah. Here in, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, herein my Father is glorified. And then God gets glory. That ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. As the Father loved me, so I love you. Continue in my love. If ye, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. God wants to fill you with joy. God wants with cheer, with rejoicing, with a, with a, with a bounce in your step. Amen. Let's see what else I had over here. I know I had something else for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 5. God's people makes a, make a difference when you are light. And it says, ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is therefore good for nothing, but to be cast out and trotted down under the foot of men. So salt, salt preserves things. You gotta watch your salt. It preserves things. I mean, you could drench something and it'd be like way too salt. So you gotta, with, with, you flavor, you, you, every every sacrifice was, was salted. You get flavor. God don't like no bland. <laughs> oh man. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, on a menorah. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good work. We're not saved by works. No, we're not saved by works, but you better do some good works. We're saved by grace. That means God's divine influence and favor and love towards us. Yes, but God has predestined good works for us that we may walk in them. So you best to get to work it and let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So the, so the, from, from the Torah portion, from the parasha, parasha means portion. 
towards the end of this portion in chapter in chapter 27 the oil of the lamp and thou shalt command the children of Israel that they bring the pure oil and again it's 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 signifying the holy spirit and the anointing is pure it's not it's not it's not some other spirit it's not some other oil it's pure olive oil beaten for the light to cause the lamp to burn always and then when when the when the when the, when the first sacrifice was put out in the tabernacle the fire came down and they used and that's the same fire that they used to light to light the candle and they kept that that same light for so so we know that the light the fire of god comes down to heaven and it comes down from heaven like even we were talking about in this week's um in the great lent if you go back we're talking about um zawer which means he came down god's fire comes down and it comes down on the altar of our heart and it lights us and it takes away whatever whatever it doesn't need to be there we become purified and we are to keep that lamp always burning through prayer through the through reading the bible through, through living and and being led by the holy spirit the holy spirit is the anointing it's the unction La unción. Y'all have, we have an unction. We are led by the Spirit. We, we don't need teacher. We have, now, do we have to? Yes. I mean, we'll be taught by, but, but our true teacher is the Holy Spirit. He should be able to teach you. God should be able to teach you and speak to you. I, you know, I, and I try to keep these at like 20 minutes, but, you know, we're closing out this week with these teachings. So, and when I when I get into it, I, I mean, I really get into it. But, you know, I, I don't want to keep them too long. But from from evening to morning, from morning to evening, it's keeping that alive, keeping that fire burning. Keep it, keep it going. No matter what you go through. No matter what you go through. We're gonna keep. The, I'm gonna keep some oil in my lamp I'm gonna keep some oil in my lamp hallelujah let's let's let let's read here first Peter's <clears throat> and it says verse 5 who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, through manifold trials, no matter what you go through, that the trial of your faith, the trial of your trust, being much more precious than gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire. Gold is tried by fire. And the candle was tried by fire. It was beaten, ding, 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 shh, tried, and it made this beautiful artifact, it made this beautiful instrument to give light. And that's what happens to us. We, God, God, we're beaten, chastened, molded shaped to cut he changed he changed he changed it from 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 like how can i say from, from the ashes he made he beautifies he beautifies us he beautifies us amen that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold the perishes though it be tried by fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Christ. That, that, 
That faith, that because of the trials and tribulations that you went through, the squeezing, the pressure, you still held on. You still, you still shine bright. You still were still the salt of the earth. You still preserved. You still kept on going. You still pushed on through the, the trials and everything produced endurance, as it says in the book of James. It produced something in you that you that it. You held on to the promises of God. You held on to the word of God. And what that does is it, it at the coming of Jesus Christ, Jesus, that, man, that's praiseworthy. That's glorious. That's honor. Man, here is your reward, faithful servant. Whom you not seen, ye love. In whom though, though now ye see him not, yet believe. Ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith. This is the reward of our faith. Even the salvation of our souls. We are, we are, we are saved. Of which the salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently. They were searching for that. Who the prophets of the grace should come unto you. They... It was, it was for us. And they were searching, man, when is this coming? When is this salvation coming? When is this, this, this outpouring of this anointing, of this spirit? Searching what of manner of time, the spirit of Christ, which was in them. It was in the prophets. But now it's been poured out on everyone. Rejoice to the Jew first and now to the Gentile. Rejoice. God loves you. Hallelujah. Did signify when it be when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should come to follow. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves. But unto us, they did minister. They ministered. It was, they were ministering to us. They were. They were. They were. They were giving the info. They were administrating this information for us now. And even then, there. I mean, this is Peter. Reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you, with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven. Here's the oil, oil for my lamp. Which things the angels, the, the angels desire to look. What is, man, what's happening? The sons of righteousness, the sons of God being manifest in the earth. The light of the world. The light of the world. We are the light of the world. We are the candelabrum. We are the menorah. We gotta think of a title for this. Be the light. Be the light. Be that piece of instrument that brings light to the world. That sets the captives free. That goes about doing good. That's anointed. By the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. First John two twenty. <clears throat> but ye have an unction, an anointing. Hallelujah. We have an anointing, an unction, una unción from the Holy One. And ye know all things. I have not written you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar, but he that denies that Jesus Christ, that Jesus is the Christ, he is the Antichrist. 
anticristo and denies the father the son and that's what people, the people deny the, the anointed anointing the act of the holy gift the, ho the holy it's a holy gift mishcha do I get mashiach messiah the anointed one People are debating, and no, that's no, but we have. He said we have an unction, we have an anointing from Him, from the Holy One, that we walk in light, because we are the light. Love and obey His commandments. 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 Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and statutes and judgments which I command you this day to do them. This is Deuteronomy 7.11. Wherefore it shall come to pass if ye hearken you know, hearken is <laughs> is to is to hear and obey, to do it, to do it, and keep guard and do them that the Lord thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which He swore unto the fathers. So what is so what He swore, what He would do, He's saying to the in Deuteronomy, repeating it, I promise these things. And if, if if you abide by these things, if you abide in, like he said, I keep my father's commandments. If you keep my commandments, you keep in my father's commandments. If you guard them in your heart and do them, and you're not doing them for just, for, for, for sheer whatever. You're doing them because you love him and you and and, and you're honoring him. You love God. You love God, where we, He loved us, and then it says, "And he, and He will love thee, and bless thee, and multiply thee, and He will bless the fruit of thy womb, and the fruit of thy land, thy corn, and thy wine, and thine oil." A little more oil for my lamp, a little more oil. Hallelujah. And increase thy kin, the flocks of thy sheep, the land which He swore unto the fathers to give thee. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be a male or female barren among you and among your cattle. The Lord will take away from thee all sickness. You see the promises attached? You see the promises attached. The promises are attached to the instruction. Follow the, follow the road. Follow the road. No matter what happens, no matter. Man, you, your word is a lamp unto my feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Follow the instructions. Follow the way. Be a light. Let the oil, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit overtake your life. And, and, and we get that from the shamash. We get that from the standard candle. We get that from the middle candle. Who's the middle candle? Who's the, who's the middle one? It is Jesus. Hallelujah. It's your boy, the preacher. Shalom, shalom.